in control, delivered or not. Okay. Uh, you guys okay? okay. Right. Nobody left? Okay. You guys stop talking there at the table, you're interrupting my comedians. Alright. Our uh, next comedian, I've uh, never seen this gentleman perform, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be really interesting. So put your hands together for Mr. Ronald Webb. Bro! So um, I just moved out here from the great state of Missouri. I don't know where you, if you, a lot of you guys know where that is, but it's like in the middle of the United States, not around shit, big pile of shit. Um, surprisingly, my story isn't far from every other black kid. I grew up in the hood. You can't tell by my voice because I sound proper, but. Um, Tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, love video games. Peed in a bed till I was 13. Um, yeah. I was a short little piece of shit, about this tall until I was about 15 years old. I am 21 now. I'm not 15 still. <laughs> um, I like telling jokes about gay people, but that's only because like. I kind of treat it like white people do when they got a black best friend and they think they can say nigga. <laughs> My sister is a lesbian, so I, get, I think that gives me the right to talk about gay people. But um, she's just like this lollipop kid, fucking, her name should have been John, but it's Janae. Um, holy shit. Looks like a dude. Walks like a dude, talks like a dude, smells like a dude. <laughs> so I go to her restroom one day. I'm like, fuck, I gotta use the bathroom. Hop out of the car, run into her house. I'm like, whew, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna use the restroom. Nobody told me it was sanitize your strap on day. <laughs> I go in the fucking bathroom and there's a fucking 12 inch strap on in the fucking sink. I'm like, what the fuck? The tip is sticking out at me, like staring at me as I pee. Like, yes. Do it. Nobody is here but us two. Oh, God. Go ahead. And I'm like, fuck. Ladies, when does it ever get to a point to where you want a subway size sandwich dick? Like, that's fucking ridiculous. But it's just been like a wonderful day to serve women today because my friend brought up this dumbass show, stupidest show ever. It's uh, called The Bad Girls Club. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys seen it, but it's just like a bunch of ratchet ass hoes just, I'm bettering my life, but I'm drunk as hell and fighting all the time. I'm like, what the hell were you doing before this? Giving the fucking panties behind the Applebee's for free? Holy shit, what can make it so much better that you're drinking alcohol all day and fighting rather than giving handies behind the fucking Applebee's? I don't know. If that's a fucking upgrade, then I'm on top of the fucking R Mount Rushmore. I don't know. I'm in the Build-A-Bear workshop. Shit. <laughs> that's all I did. Like, holy hell. But, um... Yeah, I was a small kid, and uh, I even got beat up by my little brothers and sisters, so I had to stop hurting them physically and start hurting them mentally. Like, I just, I might got a black eye, but you still think you got a small dick two weeks later, bitch. Uh, come at me, bro. But, um, yeah, yesterday I had a whole outfit that I made myself, and it was like, Guy Caprice, and I got hit on by some uh, 50 year old white guy. He's like, hey, you need a ride home? Okay. No thanks, bro. My house is right up the street, dude. You're a pervert. <laughs> but that's my time, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for coming out to support comedy. Have a good night. <laughs>